Drug Policy Alliance is the nation's leading organization working to reduce the harms of drug use and drug prohibition in the United States and statewide in New York particularly. DPA seeks to promote sensible, evidence-based policies to reduce the harms from drug use and to promote the sovereignty of individuals over their minds and bodies. In my work at the DPA, I focused specifically on the problem of opioid overdose in New York State and conducted research into the drug courts around New York State in addition to the use of medication-assisted therapy. Currently in New York State, the leading cause of accidental death is overdose, with a majority involving heroin or opioid analgesics. Opioid analgesics include prescription opioids, like morphine, Vicodin, or OxyContin. People can overdose on many things, but heroin, opioid prescriptions, and depressants in particular are dangerous, especially when taken in combination. Depressants include alcohol and benzodiazepines, like Xanax or Valium, used to treat anxiety and depression. These are all central nervous system depressants, which slow the heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, and reduce body temperature. Overdose is caused because opioids fit into the same receptors that cause a person to breathe. Drug policies dominated by the criminal justice system are often contradictory to a coordinated drug policy strategy that seeks to reduce the harms to individuals, families, and communities as a whole. In my work with the DPA, I conducted extensive research into medicated-assisted treatment and drug courts statewide. What I found was that there are indeed several courts in New York State that are ordering people off medication-assisted treatment for opioid dependency. Opioid dependency refers to when a person is chemically dependent on heroin or a variety of other opioid prescriptions. Research dating back to the 1960s demonstrates the effectiveness of medications in treating opioid dependency. There are currently three approved medications for the treatment of opioid dependency in the United States, methadone, buprenorphine, and naltrexone. Methadone and buprenorphine are included on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines because they are widely accepted as effective treatments for opioid dependency. For example, methadone and buprenorphine have been demonstrated in several research studies to reduce cravings, offending related to substance abuse, and reduce overdose deaths. Methadone and buprenorphine are included on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines because they are widely accepted as an effective method of intervention to increase public health and public safety. My research revealed that we should strongly support use of opioid agonist therapy in an attempt to address the public health crisis facing New York State and cities across the nation. I used this research to draft materials that we brought into legislative meetings with both Republican and Democratic sponsors of the bill. The bill ensures that New York State drug diversion programs are in compliance with federal directives and, more importantly, aligns policies with the science on effective treatment of opioid dependence. The bill was passed with bipartisan support in both houses and is awaiting signature by the governor. 